Love it. This is our seventh year. This is my dog, Sadie, and I'm Lisa, and Sadie's going to be 15 in October, and this is her seventh year of coming to Bark and Brew. What, what makes you want to keep coming back? The people, um, you know, great people here, just love the atmosphere. It's really fun for all the dogs to come and run around and play together. It's just really a great time. And is it the same, it's kind of the same group of people that comes? There is a big core group of people that have been coming year after year, and then there's lots of new people too, so it's really a great activity. Awesome. What do you think your, your favorite part about Bark and Brew is? Just the happiness. Everybody's very happy. Awesome. Well, yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> thank you.
So, where are we here? Um, we are at the Humane Society of Chittenden County at Bark and Brew, um, and this has been going on for many, many years. I've been coming since the first year, actually. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> how'd, you, how'd you come to hear about it? Um, when my sister-in-laws first got puppies, we decided to come to this. We just heard about it through daycare and started coming. I ended up getting my own dog a year later, and we've been coming since. What, yeah. What um, it's a sense of community. Uh, there's a lot of dogs here and owners that I recognize a lot um, every year, which is really nice. And um, just kind of connecting with people and then getting to try new beer from every brewery is kind of fun. So, yeah. <laughs> what's, been your, what's been your favorite part of the um, I think it's just a perfect way to end the summer and start the fall. You're kind of like right in between those months, so it's really nice to have some nice weather and then it gets a little cooler and it's just nice to bring your dogs and tire them out somewhere where you get to socialize too and it's just easy going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Can't complain. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Um, she's eight. She came. She was surrendered to the Humane Society because she had a really bad infection in her ears and her uterus. Um, and she gets along with my eight-pound cat. And she gets along with babies and everyone, pretty much. So yes, please adopt her. Please, 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 please. Huh. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Isla, what do you want to say? So my name is Emily Hecker. I'm the director of development for the Humane Society, um, and I organized this event. Mm -hmm. And I'm Nina Hurley. I'm formerly a board member here at the Humane Society of Chittenden County, and now I work for Good Measure Pub and Brewery in Northfield, Vermont, and I'm on the Vermont Brewers Association board. So what, what inspired Bark and Brewery? <laughs> I think it was just a fun way to get one, the community together, and two, um, get people involved in the Humane Society of Chittenden County in a very like low barrier way. Um, so it's not a huge money offset, and there's no big money ask in terms of donation. It's just a fun way for people to donate money to the Humane Society, get together with their friends, have fun with their dog, um, and just like a, and celebrate the beauty of Vermont summer. So uh, it's just always been a fun, like I call it a dog park with beer, um, that also supports a great cause. Yeah, so the first Bark and Brew was in 2014. So this is our 10th year of Bark and Brew. Um, it's the same people that come back year after year. It's a really beloved event. People start asking about when we're gonna start the first Bark and Brew, like in May. So people really look forward to it. Um, some folks will come and they'll meet each other and then they'll keep coming back. And this is kind of their annual tradition of coming and meeting with their dogs at Bark and Brew. So it's a lot of fun and it's a great way to support the Humane Society. Um, it's one of our primary fundraisers of the year. It's really important that we um, are able to um, count on community support to keep our organization going, running strong. So um, we're really happy that people enjoy this event and come out and support us. Long time, yeah. Hmm. 
I mean, I think we've had a lot of different iterations. I think some depends on, you know, obviously there was COVID and, and what that looked like. Um, different iterations of what the food offerings are, uh, what the Department of Liquor Control allows us to do through licensing. Um, so we're really excited this year. We're allowed to have two or more breweries back. In the past, it was just a single brewery. Um, so that's fun for people to get to try a lot of different beer um, while celebrating the Humane Society with their dogs. And this year we have food truck offerings, so people are able to purchase food from different local food vendors, um, and we're really excited about the lineup. So it's another great way to support small business and get like a tasty meal to go with your beer. Mm -hmm. So in one sentence, why, why should people like come and support um, It's you drink, well it's like kind of three short sentences. Okay. Yeah. Like drink beer, pet dog, support local. So, our upcoming events are, on August 29th, we'll be featuring Zero Gravity Craft Brewery, Vermont Cider Lab, Kramer and & Ken, and Maple Wind Farms Grill. On September 5th, we'll be featuring Burlington Beer Company, Weird Window Brewing, Vermont Cider Lab, and The Shop Food Truck. On September 12th, we'll be featuring Four Quarters Brewing, Vermont Cider Lab, Foam Brewers, and Maharaja Spice Food Truck.